Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Marines Episodes 1 and 2 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. You're probably wondering what the heck, it's not really showing now because it's black, but what the heck is probably on my face? I do have a live stream on right now, even though I muted it, and I have been procrastinating ever since I finished, like, all my four shows today at 8 o'clock, and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and watch Persona 4 R. And then, eventually, I gotta do my last Patreon show, like, oh my god, and now it's like 12, 13 in the morning, and I'm about to do it right now, while I'm watching the stream, but you won't, I'm not gonna pay attention to the stream. It's just there, so that once I'm done with everything, I can immediately go ahead and go back to watching it. But, other than that, let's go ahead and get started at episode 1, in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm, that was a little, like... Like, is this gonna give me, like, Space Odyssey feels or some shit? Okay, a girl. Mm -hmm. Always starts with a girl, right? All I know is that this is two seasons, 26 episodes, and it will be there. I have no idea what the fuck this is. This could be like a version of 100 or some shit. I don't know. Well, she certainly kind of looks like Amity. She has the same, like, hair color, but not style. Because hers is more white silver, and Amity's is just straight pale white. Okay, got a lot of questions, even though this is now the opening. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of hundred feels with this, essentially, but then I'm kind of getting, like, Gundam feels, like, teeny tiny. Yep, there's gonna be a fucking romance. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Was there also a naked guy at the, uh, on the far left-hand corner? I mean, um, got some questions about that. <laughs> God damn, they actually, holy crap. God, Cody, don't do that. Seriously. You can't just lay down. I know you want attention. Mm. 
I mean, that kind of seems more like revenge, but yeah, you can keep saying payback. Okay, you've been voted off. Lay in your bed. But the divine states really from the rabbit search or something. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> Was that a slime? Bruh. <laughs> That that girl we saw at the beginning. Mm -hmm. The heck is that on his head? It, it looks. It looks like a flying squirrel. <laughs>
<laughs> nice try though. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so much shade. <laughs> what the fuck? This might be one of the weirdest first episodes that I've ever seen, even though we're almost, we're not really done yet. We still have like. 13 more minutes with this episode. Like, I'm confused, but then at the same time, I'm like hella curious. Of course, she would have. Mm -hmm. Oh, this girl just hold up. She <laughs> <laughs> did not do the ground other way around. Oh my god. You sound like Yui <laughs> from k -On. and that probably is her. I don't think so, because she would have felt much harder than doing a backflip and saving grace.
I mean, honestly, no offense, students, your teacher is really kicking y'all ass. Well, I never thought in my years that you use a broom to use as a weapon, but okay. Still, so, y'all teacher is literally not getting hit or phased by anything. I mean, y'all some good ass students, but still, y'all get y'all ass handed to be y'all damn teacher, and you know what? That's fine. Jesus, all of them? You're still too slow. So I'm guessing the Arc Devils are their common enemy. But then still, what I want to know is the shit that happened in the first few minutes of this episode. Y'all going to answer the question on that? Okay, so I'm either going to call you 20 or impossible. Whichever how I feel.
<laughs> I don't think you want to know what's on her mind. Your, your, your teacher or, or who? Yeah. All right. No, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Horizon is the, the white silver hair gray chicken <laughs> chicken <laughs> chick, right? That's her name. And so she supposedly died, but he doesn't know, Tony doesn't know that Horizon is alive, correct? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's got to be her. I mean, come on. Maybe she just doesn't. She, she lost her memory, right? Right. Okay, so essentially they left Earth and now they're returning to Earth. So so it's just like what, dear Atomata or some shit? I'm so confused. But okay, I I'll say this. Um, it's not bad. It, at first, like with the training essentially thing, I was like uh, you're kind of leading me down, leading me on. And I was like, I don't know about this yet. And then just essentially now knowing that it's really about this girl named Horizon and Toddy slash Impossible and maybe just the love that they have for each other and essentially they're going to come back together and they're going to be like, oh, hey, you died 10 years ago. Oh, no, I didn't. I've been alive the whole entire time or some shit. I don't know. What are those things? That's what I want to know. Are you okay? <laughs> mm. I don't know why, but I'm kind of essentially getting... And I've never seen this show. I don't think I'm going to watch this show. But I did a tweet about it like a... Re about... Mm, almost about a year ago. Maybe almost like a half. Um, high school DXD. Like, literally. Um, because... <laughs> I was on Twitter. I'm just scrolling down on my timeline. And out of nowhere, like, because... Um, 
me and my ex, we were talking about it one day, and he was like, oh, you have to watch it. And I looked at him, and I was like, hmm, you sure about that? Is it really for me? And so out of nowhere, like I said, scrolling down my timeline, and there was a post by Crunchyroll that has something to do with High School DXA. And I saw the freaking thing, and I quoted the tweet, and I was like, this is the show that my boyfriend wants me to watch. I was like, what the fuck is this? And like everybody came and just told me so. And so till this day, I'm like, I don't think I would ever really watch High School DXD. I probably would maybe watch like, like, like how I did with um, uh, Fate Last Encore, which I probably would watch one episode and one episode only. Um, and like tweet, do like this weird like live tweet thread of me like just discussing literally everything I fucking watch and maybe I'll do that soon I don't know when because I'm always hella busy and I never essentially really have time to do a lot of things that I want to do but I mean I I can see like at points where I was like okay because it, it is an edgy and High School DxD is also an edgy and most shows that I have seen are like between edgies and then a little bit of romance and stuff I don't want this one to be like too much edgy to the point where I, I get bored with it because I mean, 100 was a good edgy for what it was. Um, I will still say the worst edgy that I've probably seen as of right now is the Yamada Kun. Uh, no, not Yamada Kun. Um, Yuna and Hana Hot Springs. That, uh, that by far is still one of my worst like experiences. And I only lasted maybe like at the halfway point to that show when I did a reaction on that last year. But I mean, with like you know the Hana Hawks rings that lasted all the way to the end for high school DX uh not high school DXE High School of the Dead I watched it and I love that show a lot and it just makes me laugh way too damn much. But I don't know. I mean, cause the thing is as of when you see so many freaking edgies, like they start to get the same and you know exactly what the hell is gonna happen. Cause like I will say like the one that I'll say that did something different and I think this came out last year. It was Grand Blue when I, like, binged, I think, the first two, three, four episodes. And I was like, that, like, love that. I wish there's more, like, edgy animes like that. But I don't know. I mean, because this is essentially but way probably before than Grand Blue. But, I mean, I still like it. I still think it's going to be a good show. I just honestly really have a lot of fucking questions about this. And hopefully i don't think in episode two my answers will get like my questions will get answered i think it's going to be a little while and especially since this is two seasons of 26 episodes well 13 episodes 26 episodes total but who freaking knows um go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode two okay episode two and three two one go You're late for something, aren't you? I just want to know, like, there, uh, like, a question I'm wondering is what that song means something. Why is she singing that song? There's, uh, like, okay. Besides it having lyrics in it, there has to be a specific meaning of why she is truly singing the song. My hair right now, I can't. So, I don't know. Maybe she's just singing for Tori. She's waiting for the day until Tori, you know, officially has, meets up with her, comes back, and then they fall in love. I, I don't know. Yeah, with the Indian guy, what the fuck? I feel like this show, and I could be wrong about it, this was probably when the time when it was airing, maybe the underrated show uh, for um, whatever season it came on. Because, like I said, it's not, um, it's not bad, but it seems 
very underrated to me. Like probably it was <laughs> something else around the time when this aired was so much better than it, but everybody was like, no, 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 still watch this show. It's good as fuck. Oh, so we just continue on, right? Okay, that's good. I like that. Hey, Horizon, you just gonna okay. Go lay down, Cody. Cody, go lay down. Is there a reason why it doesn't come in the right? Let me guess you like them. So the divine states is basically the original world of what it was used to be like without with the technology and everything instead of what I said in episode one. See, Tony is that one who always just wants to fool around in class, and he still does well. <laughs> we don't essentially really know, because, I mean, if they had an exam, and then, you know, several days later, they got their freaking grades and everything, he'd probably be that one that so fucking fails. She's so cute.
Okay, go on my bed, please. Thank you. But then the question is, what caused it, though? It was just something that happened out of nowhere? Like, say it's something about that ain't right to me. Jesus. This dog just gave me a damn heart attack. Like, if you could feel my heart right now, man. <laughs> and then we got somebody didn't pay attention. <laughs> but for you, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god you you probably don't want to go in that room right now Well, damn, Marietta, I got you ready. You would think they put it at like 15 minutes. We only had 10. See, I feel like the time and everywhere, like places where they are, it's going to mean something later on. Because there's going to be a point where this ship is probably going to get attacked, right? And then they're going to have it like essentially at different times where the ship is attacked, probably. I don't know. And Pikachu is like, oh, something about her was just different.
I think I'm still going to refer to that character as a girl, even though essentially like he, he, she has a male voice. She was a girl first. Girl, I mean, how the hell could you see all the way from there? You would think Tony would go to the grave and confess his love to Walter first. Because then it, I think if he goes to officially go <clears throat> confess his love to Horizon's grave, that's when Horizon the doll is essentially going to show up, right? Do you want him to grow your boobs?
God, it's awkward. True. She may not even know. The fact that the sister is going to help her brother with this, like, what the fuck? Is that the Yeah, you have answers and you want to, you, want, you know, you have questions and you want to know the answers. I always do that. Mm. Hmm. People. Oh, I don't know. He kind of essentially seems like the bad guy. Even though he was like in his ship and he was all happy and excited and he said, oh, I got some fireworks for y'all. 
But then seeing that little last bit right there, it seems like mm, can't trust him. Usually you can't trust a lot of people like that, but that's okay. I mean, this episode was a little better than the first one, in my opinion. Um, I thought it was really essentially going to be later on in the night when they're all the students are at the school. <laughs> After Tony has confessed his love to the Horizon grave and such. But, like, I really do think between three and four, when I watch it, probably today's not officially Thursday. Um, either Friday or Saturday, it depends on how non busy I am. And stuff, and I think I'll have time on Friday to watch it. Um, they're gonna see each other because I, I, I really wanted episode two to be the moment where they see each other, but now nah, I gotta wait one more, one more day. And then if I have time on Friday to freaking watch it, then yeah, I'll watch it on Friday just to be ahead of week. But uh, it's different, it's a really different show. I think it's still interesting and it has a lot of potential, even though this is only episode two for me. And I'm excited to see where this show could possibly go still Tori is Tori that's all I can say about him I mean he's just one of those other many protagonists who really likes to grow boobs and stuff it just makes me laugh for some weird reason <laughs> but in a way I like with so many characters who are in edgy sometimes not all the times. It depends on how the character is. I usually cannot take them seriously. And Tony is, like, really one of those number one characters that I dead ass can't take seriously. Between him and then the guy who was in the show Island that I essentially stopped at, like, episode seven or eight of the series because, like, I, I had, like, a prediction of it and then it started going right towards my prediction. I was like, yeah, I'm done with the show. I was like, fuck that show. And, and like, some people didn't even like it as much anyway either. But, I mean... It has a mm, it has something. It, it's something about these two episodes, especially with this episode, that is still making me keep stay on this show and still wondering what the hell is gonna happen next. I just like I said, I really want these two to meet and him to have this weird like epiphany or some shit. I don't know. But uh the character who we learned was originally a girl. She got her boobs chopped off. Like, what the hell? I, I wasn't expecting that to happen on here. Like, having... I, I think it, it's interesting to have a transgender character in an anime. And essentially, like, I still wonder if there ever is going to be an anime where they really do something about transgender and stuff. I mean, because, like, I, as someone who loves to see the romance between a guy and a girl or the same sex or, you know, whatever, I still want to see someone who is typically the norm because... In today's modern day era, you're seeing a lot of people who are exactly like you. I've seen, like me, you know, when I grew up, there was never really, you know, a black girl. Sometimes there were. Um, but essentially, we were always protagonized as the bitch character of the show. And now, essentially, we are the ones who are the, like, main characters. So, I think having a transgender character out for people who are transgender would be really awesome for them. So, you know, hopefully, I, I would love to learn a little bit more of their backstory, of his, um, hers backstory, and hopefully they do more, because it was really interesting about it in this first episode. Just wasn't expecting it. I was just like, oh, okay, we're just doing that in episode two. But I think episode three and four are going to be really good. We ain't going to know until Friday. Well, I ain't going to know until Friday. Y'all ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Trace episodes one and two of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for the Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.